Hello Year 9 and welcome to the GCSE and BTEC Music course overview for the Year 9 Options 2021. Over the course of this short video, you're going to find out some information about both the GCSE and BTEC Music courses and hopefully we'll be able to answer any questions that you have about musical study at Key Stage 4. So the big question is, what is musical learning at Key Stage 4? Now it's very similar in fact to what you have been studying in Key Stage 3 and there are three different factors to your musical learning. There's the performance side of things where you'll be performing music and playing instruments, singing or rapping and developing your confidence to perform accurately and uh, fluently. You will also be composing music and writing your own pieces and songs. Now in Key Stage 3, you've done this mostly in groups, but at Key Stage 4, so when you're doing your GCSE or BTEC, you'll be composing music on your own. And then, of course, there is the listening and analysing side of things, where you'll be developing your knowledge of musical elements in a range of musical styles. You'll be knowing the history and context in which music was created as well. So these are the three areas that your musical learning is going to focus on. Now, why study music at Key Stage 4? Now, if you're passionate about music, love performing, enjoy creating music, and want to understand how music has been created, this is the course for you. In terms of your musical development, you're going to be able to learn about a range of different musical styles. You're going to develop your music reading and writing skills and your music theory. You're going to be able to use industry level music technology and improve your use of that. You're going to develop your instrumental skills and your performance skills. You're going to develop your songwriting and composition. And you're going to be able to perform regularly with other musicians, both in class and in school events, and hopefully in some outside school events as well. And of course, um, some fun and engaging practical lessons um, in amongst your timetable is obviously a huge plus for studying music, GCSE or BTEC. Now, it's not just musical development that you're going to um, improve on, but also studying music at Key Stage 4 will give you the opportunity to develop some broader life skills as well. So you will develop your communication skills and your ability to work with others, which is an essential skill for the big um, wide world out there. And you can develop your critical thinking um, and ability to analyse and question. You're going to develop your problem solving. You'll be able to develop your creativity and your entrepreneurial thought. You can develop your confidence and self-perception, the way you feel about yourself. And actually, lots of research also shows that by studying music, this can actually help you develop your brain. Um, it can improve your long-term memory, your reactions to things, and your spatial reasoning, which are really kind of key skills um, for you and your future. So studying music will give you that development in your musicianship, but also will be able to support your learning outside of music as well. So what will you study at GCSE Music? So GCSE Music um, is divided into those kind of three key areas. Now, Era Study 1, My Music, is where you will perform as a soloist and as a group, um, and you will compose two pieces of music. And then in terms of your listening and appraising, you study four other kind of areas or topics of different musical history and music from around the world. So you will study the concerto through time, so Renaissance, uh, Baroque, classical and romantic music. You'll study rhythms of the world, looking at West African drumming, samba, calypso, um, Palestinian music, Greek music, Israeli music and Indian music and Bangra. You will also learn about film music and music for the moving image, including um, compositions made for computer games. Um, and you will also study popular music from the 1950s. So rock and roll, rock anthems, 1980s ballads um, through to modern artists um, in the um, pop world that we know today. So in terms of your BTEC pathway, this is slightly different to the GCSE and the fact that it is a much more practical course and focused on the music industry rather than musical history. So Unit 1 is called the Music Industry, where you will study record labels, different organisations in the industry, different job roles and how they all work together. 
You will also create a music product, whether that be an album, a playlist, or organize a musical concert or event yourself. You will also learn about music sequencing and be assessed on a music sequence piece that you have put together. And then you have the choice of either doing a performance or doing the tech side of things and putting together a live sound situation um, for a concert or event. You'll be assessed at GCC through the following three areas. You'll have a listening and praising exam, which is worth 40%. This is very similar to the types of assessments and exams that you have done at year nine. You then have two portfolios, the integrated portfolio and the practical component of which both are worth 30%. And these are pieces of coursework where you will do a solo performance and create a composition and then do an ensemble performance, so with a group, and a second composition to a brief. So you have one exam and then 60% is based on coursework. So if you're a learner who excels in the classroom, then this is a very good course for you. For Music BTEC, you have one exam as well based on the music industry, but this is only worth 25%. Then the other three units that you take are all coursework and are worth 25% each. So a total of 75% um, is coursework based where you provide a portfolio that is um, assessed internally and externally moderated. Now, if you want to know more about any of the music courses, both the GCC and the BTEC, obviously you can also contact myself, Mrs. Horworth, or Ms. Pearson, or Mr. Mesherenku about any of the information there. My email is here on the screen, and you can also access the GCC specification by visiting the OCR website, and also the BTEC specification by going to the Pearson Ed Excel website for the BTEC First in Music. So if you have any questions, please do let me know and we look forward to seeing you in the Year 10 Music Classroom in September. Thank you and goodbye.